So welcome to Technodad Life, where we build, learn, and create as community. And on today's episode, we're going to be reviewing FreeNAS and Open Media Vault, and we're going to le learn of the secret that binds the two together. And here we go now. So let's start uh, looking at these two things. So first, uh, actually, let's look at the Wikipedia page because actually it will explain a lot about these two systems. So yeah, let's go over to the computer. And so on the left-hand side here, this is going to be the free NAS side, and the right-hand side is going to be the Open Media Vault side. And so the first thing that we want to look at is the history. And so if we look at the history page here, you can see something very important. So basically, a key person for both of these projects was Volker Thiel. And sorry if I'm spelling your name wrong, Volker, or saying your name wrong, Volker. Uh, and so FreeNAS was at a transition. And so that transition was that they had to rewrite it. And Volker was the head developer at that time, and he decided that he wanted to have it on Debian, which is a Linux distribution. And there was a split in the community. He went ahead and started a new uh, NAS system, which became Open Media Vault. And the community sort of split into two more parts or three parts altogether. So one was Open Media Vault. Uh, one started a new project, uh, NAS for free, and to compete with FreeNAS. And then FreeNAS itself was taken over by IX Systems, which had a more commercial bent than uh, free B or FreeNAS had before that. Because Volker was working on FreeNAS before Open Media Vault, what you'll see is that it looks a lot the same as FreeNAS. And the way the file systems are set up and everything. Uh, but it's more streamlined and actually sort of makes a little more sense because he could put things in a different order so they made more sense. When we look at the two systems, we can see that Open Media Vault has a menu system over here on the side. And when we click there, we can see FreeNAS has the same menu system over on the side too. Uh, FreeNAS just got a UI uh, update, so it looks a little different, but it was more in this fashion before. Uh, just a couple things. They basically have a lot of the same things that they cover. And so I'll just show you one thing, so how things have changed. So if we go over to Open Media Vault and go to Access Rights, and then go over to FreeNAS Accounts. So basically, these two menus are real, very similar. And here you can see we have Groups and Users. And here we have User Group. And in addition, we have Shared Folders. And so what Volker seemed to have done when he went to Open Media Vault is things that belong together, he put together. And so here, all the access rights uh, he put under one folder, whereas in FreeNAS, they're in groups and the users and groups are under accounts, but then the shared folders are under a different part of the menu system. And uh, just like that, there are other things that are slightly different. If we go to Diagnostics, System Information, and Processes, we can see the processes on Open Media Vault. And then on FreeNAS, we just scroll down to System Display System Processes and the same information. When we go back to the menu, the, you'll notice a couple of different things. So plugins. So we have plugins on FreeNAS, and we have plugins on Open Media Vault. We have virtual machines on FreeNAS, and we have virtual machines on Open Media Vault, which is down here. Next, we have jails on FreeNAS, which are the same as jails on Docker. So basically, with these two different operating systems, they have a lot of the same functionality, and probably either one would meet uh, users' needs. 
Uh, but I would say that there are some exceptions. So here's the exception. So Open Media Vault is based on Debian. And so Debian has been ported to many different types of chipsets. So basically Debian will run on everything from a Raspberry Pi to a supercomputer and everything in between. Uh, FreeNAS, on the other hand, uh, is based on FreeBSD, which hasn't been ported to as many uh, systems or chipsets. And so FreeNAS itself will actually only run on an AMD 64 or an Intel 64, where since OMV is based on Debian, it can actually run on all those chipsets that we mentioned before. The other th nice thing about Open Media Vault, it actually only requires two gigabytes of memory and only a eight gigabyte uh, hard drive for the operating system. Uh, FreeNAS, on the other hand, requires eight gigabytes minimum for memory on the system with preferably 16 or 32. And the operating system itself it says it can run on eight gigabytes, but 16 gigabytes is recommended. And so both these systems, they can run on for the operating system, a SSD, a USB, or a hard drive, if you want to use that. FreeNAS uses ZFS for the file system, and Open Media Vault uses extension four. But if we go back to the system here, and we look at the plugins and over here we type in ZFS. There's actually a ZFS plugin for Open Media Vault, so you can actually change what file system you use. Uh, one side note that FreeNAS doesn't have that Open Media Vault does is so Open Media Vault can actually run on wireless. Whereas at least at this time when I made the video, FreeNAS does not uh, cannot be run on wireless. And if we come back over here to the computer, one other thing that I'd like to just point out is that uh, they both have great forums where you can ask questions. Uh, I found the Open Media Vault forums a little more responsive. Uh, with FreeNAS, though, you can, I think you can actually, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty positive you can pay for help if you need that whereas that is not on Open Media Vault. Uh, one thing about the forums that I found is I tended to find the Open Media Vault forums a little more friendly uh, to sort of novices. Uh, FreeNAS, again, uh, it's sort of aimed at uh, professional users now, whereas maybe before it wasn't. And so uh, they sort of recommend like you get server software or excuse me, server hardware. Uh, whereas on Open Media Vault, you know, whatever you have is whatever you have. No one cares there at all. And so I hope you found this video helpful today. I ended up picking uh, Open Media Vault for myself because I just found it easier to use based on my background with Linux and also just a friendlier community. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.